This teacher makes sure his student who has disability enjoys break time like everyone else. Often we may not be able to help people financially or in other ways that they need us to, but every small act of kindness really matters. Without a doubt, I think it is vitally important to be informed of the news and what's going on around the world, but often we might be misinformed or uninformed of what's really going on. It seems as if there's only negative things going on and that forces us to give up hope in this world and we forget to practice humanity. I'm here to show you that this world is still beautiful despite all the negativities you might be seeing what's going on youtube family i am check and bay and if you are new here or a ready a subscriber i would like to welcome you to another heartwarming acts of kindness video my main purpose is to inspire you to be great encourage you to be more kind and to restore your faith in humanity so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out the next time i upload comment what you think about this video and your favorite part thank you guys so much for supporting my merchandise this is how i save up money and perform acts of kindness like paying for strangers groceries thank you guys so much for your continued support i really really appreciate all the loyal supporters this is one of the stories that prove that no matter how young or limited you might be you can still make a difference this 10 year old girl named sarah haycock was just passing by this park in Washington State when she noticed a stone that made her very curious. Edwin T. Pratt, 1930 through 1969. And I'm like, wow, that's a really short life. I just did the quick math in my head. We were like, he died at 39? I'm just like, that's not typical. Sarah made it her absolute duty to learn about the man Edward T. Pratt. She discovered some history about him and the cause of his death. Sarah learned that Edward T. Pratt was an American activist during the civil rights movement who worked on school segregation. At the time of his assassination in 1969, he was an executive director at the Seattle Urban League. He also led an initiative for equal housing opportunity and Edwin was the first black person to move into Sarahstown, Washington. Those were really rough times for the people of color. Edwin was a very, very brave man. He was sadly assassinated right on that front porch of his residence exactly about nine months after Martin Luther King was assassinated. It was just the lack of recognition that really, I think, maybe stunned me. It just felt like he's got to have something more than just a plaque outside of a bathroom. Around the same period, right across the street from Sarah's school, the school district was about to start a new early learning center and didn't yet have a name for it. Immediately, she smelled an opportunity. Young Sarah started a petition drive and went around the city convincing everyone why this new building should be named after Edwin T. Pratt. Thank you for helping me honor Edwin Pratt. She did a ton of stuff. It's difficult times, um, but brighter futures are ahead of us and it's because of kids like Sarah. So many were inspired by Sarah and was supportive of her new movement. Would all of those here tonight to support Edwin Pratt please raise your hands. The adoption of new name for Early Learning Center. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. The vote is unanimous. The motion carries. This young girl even inspired me to want to do more. Thanks to her effort, now there won't be another kid in the city of Shoreline, Washington who doesn't know about the name Edward T. Pratt. I truly wish her an amazing future. We can all already sense how bright her future is going to be. I love you so much. Thank you. Uh, don't ever give up hope and never think that the small sacrifices and acts of kindness don't go a long way. During an extreme flood when this animal was stuck and hopeless, this man immediately came to the rescue. Much love and respect. We should always look out for the animals. If you have been watching the news in the last several weeks, you already know that the situation in Ukraine is very, very tough and severe for so many families. It feels so bad and I keep on praying for them. I don't really like to speak on pile or stuff that I am not too knowledgeable about, but war is something no family or kids ever dream of. But the global symbol of solidarity will restore your faith in humanity. The beautiful way the world is showing support for Ukraine. Sunflowers representing unity with Ukraine. The nation official flower is taking a special place in the heart of those who want to help the people of Ukraine. For example, this farm in Florida took one weekend during the war donating profits of all sunflower sell to the global empowerment mission which helped Ukraine refugees. We feel how much those people are hurting and what they're struggling with. We want to do our part as farmers to help them. We come here in peace to show that we care. Let's continue to pray for peace for all citizens around the world. Speaking of peace, check out this very beautiful moment when this young Ukrainian girl was surprised with a birthday party at a refugee camp in Romania. Bro, 
As humans, we should never ever look away if we have an opportunity to help someone live a more quality life. Check out the very beautiful moment when thousands of Berlin residents showed up at the central train station with signs boards offering refugee fleeing Ukraine with a place to stay. The beautiful moment when this reporter interrupts his live reporting to help a struggling Ukraine refugee in a wheelchair. Perdietur një një transport të dashoj të dashoj të dashoj më më afer në alat. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Do you need it? You're good there. Uh, how far is your car? Where is our car? Forty meters. Forty meters. Okay, I, I don't know if my camera will work, but I'll, I'll try to... <laughs> give, me, give me this. Good? I love kids. They are very inspiring. But these kids are special. They made history. Man with these big guns. The only choice they had was to stay at a black owned hunting lodge. Gilbert worked directly with Martin Luther King in their future. Shout out to Shaquille O'Neal, a former professional basketball player and a current live sport reporter. He always looked out for people, try to help best he can. He helped his family, bought them a van, which is so useful. This bird wasn't able to move or fly because it had fishing nets stuck in his leg. But thanks to people who consistently go out of their way to help the animal, this guy does this all the time. He goes around and helps animals. Much love and respect. Shout out to this doctor right here who volunteer his time, goes around the world, perform free eye surgery for people who need the operation and don't have the funds. Much love and respect right there. This is the first time. Remember me? Remember me from last time? Come here. Check out this really dope moment when two dogs were rescued from a sinking boat. My friends and family, if you made it up to this point in this video, you are a true legend. I want to take this time to really thank you so much for your continued support. My main purpose for producing these videos is to encourage you guys to perform more acts of kindness. It honestly takes so much time to put these videos together, but I'm so glad that you guys appreciate it. Thank you so much for supporting my merchandise. The link to my website to purchase is below this video and also in my bio. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out the next time I upload. Comment what you think about this video and your favorite part. Please give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.